Hey, hey, and welcome. It's Tyler from Rehab to Fab Designs, and today I am going to be going over a makeover on these two twin cabinets you see behind me. These cabinets I purchased off the Facebook Marketplace way back when, and they have been housed in my kids' playroom for the last, I don't know, 13 years probably with um, books and toys, and remarkably, they're still in great shape. When we purchased these, these were natural wood and we stained them this nice cherry color again it's old you guys way back when and as you can see it's a dark stain so we're going to start by prepping these by cleaning them with white lightning white lightning is a tsp type cleaner that dixie bell makes it comes in a granule form and you just mix it in warm water shake it up really good and put it in a spray bottle and then use it to clean all the dirt and grime off your piece as you can see from my napkin there these pieces were very dusty next we're going to prime it the reason i'm priming it is because as you see here it's a dark cherry finish and we don't want to paint over this um, and that old cherry finish bleed through our paint or show tannins through it so we're priming it with Dixie Belle's new combined product called bonding boss it is a combination product that combines slick stick as well as boss from Dixie Belle so that we have a product that will not only allow our paint to adhere to slick surfaces but it will also block tannins and prevent bleed through as well as blocking any odors this stuff gives really great coverage you guys so i only had to put one coat on it um and if you can see in any of the video um i had no bleed through which is miraculous with this dark cherry stain once it was dry it was time for paint i'm using stormy seas from the chalk mineral paint line from dixie bell and one of their synthetic brushes the brush is being used to get in the corners of the um, insets on this cabinet. And then for the flatter, larger areas, I'm using a paint roller from Dixie Bell to get my paint on quickly and efficiently. Chalk Mineral Paint dries super fast, which makes it a great product for DIYers, allowing you to quickly move from one project to the next. And if you're a creative like me, you've probably got several projects going at the same time because that's what we do. And this makes it easy because you can start one while it's dry and you can start a second one or work on something else. As you can see here, there is no bleed through from this cherry finish that's coming through my bonding boss. I allowed the bonding boss to dry overnight, not because it was a necessity really, but more so because it was late in the day and I was done painting for a while because it was time to get the kids fed and off to bed. The next day we came in with the chalk mineral paint in the stormy seas and we did a total of two coats. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I also primed the inside of these cabinets with bonding boss as well because I knew I was going to paint them. All right, next for the fun part, we are going to design this piece using the bone inlay stencil from Dixie Belle. Um, I have seen this used several times um, by my friend over at Faf Designs, and it is super cute. Turns out great when she does it. And I knew these cabinets would be perfect for it because they're just the style that's needed for um, these long little skinny stencil designs, if you will. So I started by cutting it all up. The reason I'm doing that is because we're going to put this together in um, sections in different areas all around this cabinet and it's easier to control if you cut them and just do little portions of the stencil at one time because otherwise inevitably I'm going to get paint all outside of the stencil that I'm actually using and into another part of the stencil um, so like this it will um, just kind of miss the other part of the stencil and you know just smear on the cabinet itself so I can sand it off and paint over it when I'm done I do have to do it watch for it so helpful tips and tricks when you're using a stencil. Personally, I get best results when I apply my paint over the stencil using a roller like you see here. I know a lot of people will um, stipple it on using like a round uh, stiff brush, but mine always bleeds when I do that. So I typically use a roller like you see here. I will pick up my paint on the roller and then I will wipe or 
rather roll off all the excess paint on the roller because the goal here is just to have a tiny amount of paint. If you have a heavily saturated roller or brush, if you're using a brush when you stencil, you're going to have bleed through. So the best way to do this is to make sure you're holding your stencil really tight and really still on your piece. And it's best for me, especially on this piece, if I use um, an extra set of hands. So I have my husband holding here for me. And then again, rolling off any extra paint um, off my roller onto just cardboard or a napkin or a towel or whatever you have handy. And then rolling over your stencil itself so you get a nice clean design when you're done. While my stencil design was drying on the outside, it was time to turn my attentions to the inside of the cabinet. After all, we can't have a super cute finish on the outside and just leave the inside blah. So again, I primed this with bonding balls to begin with, and then I came in on the back side of the doors with chalk mineral paint in the color cotton. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm preparing for a transfer and I want a light background. So I used my roller once again to roll on my paint just because again, it's sufficient and it gets good coverage quickly and then once I have the um, main portion of the cabinets done I came back in with my French tip brush also from Dixie Belle and I'm using that to get in the low recessed areas in the inset of the door. Next we're going to paint the interior part of the cabinets and for this you guys if you've been following me for any bit of time you know that I love a good pop of color. The Stormy Seas is a nice color. It is color but it's also kind of neutral um, and kind of will go with multiple different um, design aspects in a home but for the inside I wanted a nice little bright pop of color so for that I thought kind of a, a lime green would be really cool to complement it so I didn't have the color I wanted so you know what we do we mix paint and make our own colors it's called color theory for my lime green I am using tree frog green I am using farmhouse green and I am using a little bit of daisy which is a bright yellow because I wanted my green to be a little on the lime side and once again, I am putting my roller to use to get this paint on quickly. I swear I'm not lazy, you guys, but these pieces are like, they're pretty tall and they're, you know, long and like I'm just doing a solid finish and it just makes sense for me to just get it on quickly and the roller is the best way to do that. Then I get done fast and I can get on to the fun part again where we are decorating and it's time to put my attention on the back portion of the doors and for that we are going to put a transfer. This is a newer transfer that Dixie Belle has come out with and it's called Cottage Toil. It gives off super French country vibes in my opinion and I just thought it would pair great with these colors. Um, it's a navy blue color design and of course it looks great with white and that's why I painted the back of the doors white. And then again I've got my nice little pop of green on the inside and it's just super fun and trendy. So this is an up close and personal look at how to use transfers if you haven't used them before. They're very easy. It comes with a couple of different things. So you have the design portion itself, which is printed on a clear part of the transfer. And then there is a white paper backing on it. And then it will come with this cute little stick you see here. So you simply peel the backing off or the white paper, and then you're left with the design that is printed on the clear part. You're gonna put this sticky side down on your project. And then you're gonna use this little wooden rubbing stick that comes with the transfer and you're going to rub your design off of the clear piece and onto your project. As you see here, I typically kind of rub over the whole thing at once and then I will start peeling back the clear portion as I am rubbing over it in small sections. And once you get it off, you have this nice cool design left for your project. And that is this piece in a nutshell. The only thing I did last was to seal this piece with two coats of clear coat from Dixie Belle to make sure we had a lasting finish. Here's a look at the piece all finished up. As you can see, it is super cute and trendy. This um, stencil turned out great. I'm super happy with it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure and follow along with Rehab to Fab Designs for more furniture tutorials. Drop any questions or comments you have down below and be sure and subscribe to the channel and click that bell for notifications.